journalist John Kwelani to face justice in a hate speech matter without further delay. The eight-year-old case has been repeatedly postponed due to Noelane's ill health. It was to be heard in the High Court in Johannesburg in August and September. A column containing strong homophobic views. John Kwelani titled his piece, Call Me Names, But Gay Is Not Okay. The former Ugandan ambassador also likened homosexuals to animals. He claimed that they were responsible for the rapid degeneration of values in our society, plus other ills. The Equality Court found Kwelani guilty of hate speech in 2011. He was ordered to pay 100,000 rand to the Human Rights Commission and to apologize to the LGBTI community. However, later that year, Kwelani successfully applied for the judgment to be rescinded. After almost a decade of trial postponements, the Psychological Society sought intervention. What we were contending before the high, before the Constitutional Court was that in fact because of his ill health, the High Court granting a postponement amounted to a permanent stay of proceedings and in fact a silencing of the LGBTI community and leading to them not being able to hold Mr. Kwelani accountable. But the Concord says it's not in the interest of justice to intervene just yet. What is pivotal is that the matter has all now been set down for a hearing. There are specified dates, these from the correspondence between the parties and the Deputy Judge President in Johannesburg appear to be in March 2017. The result is that the postponement to which CISA objects is no longer indefinite. For this reason, the Court has on balance concluded that it is not in the interests of justice for it to intervene in this case. The application for leave to appeal is dismissed. Balani's counsel welcomed the judgment. I still stand by my initial feelings that this was a frivolous application that was brought and it was a waste of the court's time, a waste of taxpayers' money, but we're going ahead with the High Court. The matter has been set down for March. Marie Kate Lamatabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.